All right, now do I have the house for you. This is a single wide, yes, but this is one of the most modern single wides I've ever seen. This is a 1676, so this is one of the biggest single wides you will ever see. Now this model is the Sunrise. Karsten is the builder, and I absolutely love this exterior. Super modern, really helps to dress up the exterior of the home. We're on the backside right now, so so this is a sliding glass door there and we will see the inside here in a second but let's just take a chance to enjoy this front side love the chair rail just makes a really nice two-toned look for this home all right so jumping on into the sunrise by Karsten there's a lot of cool features in this home but my favorite one is that it is a drywall home absolutely stunning walking on into the living room you can see just how open it is nice and open from the living room to the dining room and all the way over to the kitchen now we definitely have a knack for decorating these so if you can imagine your furniture in this that is great as well so you have a nice door here i like to point out different features within this home especially when i'm showing it depending on the houses you see this is a higher end single wide and they do have a lot of upgraded features one thing that is standard though is blinds are standard in most windows throughout the home some of the transoms may not but you can get a little closer look at this window here these are vinyl windows low e double pane absolutely stunning and really energy efficient so like i said there is a sliding glass door and that's going to be this guy right here all of the windows here in this central area let in so much light into the home so we definitely have a few accents within this home that are really nice and standard from the builder this is going to be one of them behind the dining room here and then over around at the bar is going to be the other one and we'll see that here in a second nice available seating here at the bar you can fit like three stools maybe four but you also have a few of those other more custom looking accents so going on into this kitchen three things that i absolutely like about it one i love the black cabinets at the bottom and the white on top the contrast is beautiful two I really like the hood vent there and three I am a sucker for a window above the sink we'll see that again here in a second we'll get a little bit of a closer look one cool thing to point out these are soft close cabinets the drawers are also soft close so like I said really stunning I absolutely love this window here I think it allows so much natural light into this kitchen so one of the cool things that this factory does is they put a nice little pantry right here with wood shelves so it just looks a little bit more upgraded but it's also a really great use of the space now we're gonna head on over to the utility room and this utility room has a nice little window has your electrical and then it has space for a washer and dryer and you know if you want to put dog crates or something in here we already got a spot made just for them so the next room we're going to take a look at is the primary suite but first let's take a look at an overview of what we were just looking at so like i said this is kind of your main living area you got the living room the dining room and the kitchen here and then back here is where you're gonna find the primary bedroom again natural light and this is a really big primary bedroom i really do like all the wall space that you have and you have so much wall space because the closet is accessible through this bathroom here now talking about this bathroom stunning i'm gonna keep saying that because it's just the best word you have so much storage space on both sides you have these lit mirrors you have a space here in the middle to serve as a vanity and then again natural light flowing through it 
I really love the openness. You have toilet kind of tucked over here out of the way. There is a new floor plan for this bathroom, so you're going to see it pictured there. That's what anything new will look like if you're getting a sunrise from Karsten. And then here is the shower. Has plenty of space to put shampoo bottles and whatnot, and you have two seats there, which I think is also really convenient. Here is the primary's closet, and you kind of have his and her sides, but again, so much space in here. You could put dressers or really whatever else it's looking like you need. All right, so this home is a split floor plan. And what that means is the primary suite is on the other side of the home from the two other guest bedrooms, giving this home a total of three bedrooms and two full bathrooms. So we're gonna head on over to the other side of the home so we can get a closer look at those bedrooms. Some of the vents are actually under the cabinets too, which I think is really nice. Gives you a little bit more control of your floor space. So before we take a look at this first guest bedroom here, we're gonna take a look at this Ecobee, and I love the Ecobees. This thermostat can be controlled by your phone or voice activated. Little hot in Colorado when at the time that this is being filmed and we didn't have an AC in here. AC is part of what we do in our set process. So here is a view of the room. And then as we go down this hallway, you're gonna see these two doors. Behind here is where you're gonna find your furnace on the left and your water heater on the right. So next, we're gonna take a look at the guest bathroom, which is this guy right here. Definitely an upgrade. I don't know if I mentioned, but these are wood cabinets. Nice little bit of additional countertop space on the sides there. So it allows for just more storage. This bedroom here at the end is definitely the larger guest bedroom. And that's just because it takes up the whole end of the home. So it's still a good size for many uses. Here is a view of the closet. The closet in the other guest bedroom is the same exact size. All right, so like I said, this here is the Sunrise by Karsten. This is a stunning floor plan, especially if you're looking for something a little smaller and you want a drywall or tape and textured home, this might be the home for you. So if you have any questions or would like some more information on this home in particular, my email is in my bio or feel free to comment down below.